Let's have a look at how to identify the transparency within a composition inside of After Effects. So this comp I will come back to in just a moment, but I want to create uh, one from scratch firstly. So composition, new composition. Most of these settings don't really matter guys. All I want to do is give this a quick name called demo, and I'm setting the background color of this deep red just here. So I choose OK. There's my deep red background just there. Let's go and grab my rectangle tool. White is my fill and just drag out there like so. So the question really is at this point, what is and isn't transparent? Well, we know this guy isn't. It's going to be a solid rectangle, of course. But what about this red area? Well, the button that we're particularly interested in is just down here at the bottom of the composition panel just here. It's called the toggle transparency grid. I'll just zoom in so you can see that. So it's this little guy just here, see toggle transparency grid. Just zoom out like so. So if I turn that on, you can see the button is active, it becomes blue. What was a deep red is now showing up as a checkerboard pattern, which is of course the Adobe way of showing transparency. So if I toggle that off again, at first inspection, we might assume this area is red, but we can see when we activate that button, it is indeed transparent. Now this is very important, particularly when we are exporting out a video for rendering. So what happens is when we export out, if the format that we're exporting to, such as MP4, doesn't support transparency, by default, any transparent areas will be simply rendered as black. So again, if we open this quickly and exported this out, if we were expecting a deep red background, we would actually be getting a black background. So let's jump over to that composition that I was uh, showing you a moment ago. The specifics of this one aren't too important, guys. I'm just scrolling through here like so, or scrubbing through here like so. The main thing I want to point out is the transparency. So if we go and turn that button on, there we go. So if I turn that off, you kind of assume just by looking at this by default that we have this dark gray background, but in reality, there's actually nothing there. The reason we're seeing that dark gray background, if I go up under composition, composition settings, I have a background color of dark gray turned on. So again, I need to monitor this when I'm exporting this out, because if I wanted a dark gray background, we know if I turn on my transparency grid, if I export out to something like an MP4, I'm going to not get a dark gray, I'm going to get black instead. So that's what this solid is at the bottom just down here. So if I turn this on and off a couple of times, you'll see that visually nothing is changing out here because the gray, the, the solid, is actually the same dark gray as my composition background. So with this turned on, with this now visible, if I turn on my transparency, you'll see nothing changes because there is actually no transparency within this composition because I have that solid in the background. So that's a big bonus tip there, guys. If you are wanting to not have any problems with transparency, if you're exporting out to an MP4, add a solid um, to the background or to the bottom of your composition um, and make that whatever color you need it to be.